Hi, I'm Andrew Bailey, Curator of Collections here at the Pima Air and Space Museum. Today we're going to be highlight some of our humanitarian aid aircraft. The one behind us is the Sikorsky HO3S Dragonfly, which was one of the first helicopters used by the Coast Guard for air-sea rescue. In 1946, six of them were transferred from the Navy to the Coast Guard. They used it to test out and work out techniques for air-sea rescue that were used in later helicopters. You can see it has a hoist for bringing people out of the water. The engine is a WASP Junior radial engine, same engine used in 1930s and 40s aircraft like the Beach 18 and the Lockheed Electra and the BT-13. The Dragonfly had a crew of two, the pilot and one other crew member sitting in a tandem seating arrangement. All right, and here we are next with the Sikorsky HH-52A Sea Guard. It was the first turbine-powered helicopter used by the Coast Guard. It was a medium-range amphibious search and rescue helicopter. You can see that it was one of the first helicopters designed with a boat hull and also the outrigger pontoons, allowing it to keep stable in the water when it lands in the water. And obviously, being amphibious, it could also land and take off on ground. As I mentioned, it's a single-engine turbine. The rotors fold to make it compact because this helicopter was also used aboard uh, Coast Guard cutters and icebreakers. You can really tell with the sleek bottom how it has that boat shape quality. This helicopter was used for over 30 years by the Coast Guard and in that time it rescued over 15,000 people lost at sea or shipwrecked. And you can see too it has a hoist so if, it, if the water conditions are too rough and they can't land in the water they can lower a hoist to recover people out of the water. So now why don't we take a look inside the helicopter. Here we are in the cockpit. This helicopter had a crew of three, a pilot, a co-pilot, and a flight engineer crew chief. So the compartment has accommodations for up to 11 passengers. In the back you can see stowage for various rescue equipment. If you have any stories about serving on board a Sea Guard or being rescued by a Sea Guard, please share the stories in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And that was the HH-52, and now on to our next helicopter. Behind me is the Sikorsky HH-3 Pelican. For 30 years it was used by the Coast Guard as their long-range search and rescue helicopter. It was a variant of the Air Force's famed Jolly Green Giant. The Pelican had a search radar giving it an all-weather capability. It was also amphibious, having the ability to land on water. And instead of one engine, it had two General Electric T-58s with 1,500 horsepower each. The Pelican also had a ramp in the back to facilitate quick loading and unloading. And these are just some of the search and rescue helicopters we have here at the Pima Air and Space Museum. We'll be back with more videos on humanitarian aid aircraft.